Hello friends at St. Gianna Bredamola Catholic Parish. Uh, this is Father Jason and this is uh, my weekly message. Hopefully I'm starting to get a little bit better at this YouTube thing. We'll see. I hope you're well. Uh, I heard this week, I was listening to an interview of a woman from Italy when, and she was, and when they, and they asked her, how, how are you feeling? And she said, I have no idea how I'm feeling. I don't have time to think about how I'm feeling. I'm spending all my day responding to the urgent needs of the people around me. I, I don't know how you're feeling. Uh, I think we all have, are so disoriented in our schedules. We're all feeling something of that. For me, it's been crazy. I'm trying to start a virtual parish. <laughs> and I've had to spend hours and hours a day doing, learning new things. But I've also spent hours and hours a day, every day this week, talking to you guys. And whether it's in group meetings, uh, youth group, um, praying with my catechists, and I can tell you those have been the, the best moments of my week. I hope you're doing the same thing. This week I wanna start not only a, a prayer chain, uh, a way to, if you, for those who are interested, but also some of you are manifesting that you wanna help others. One way might be calling everybody to make sure that we're meeting your needs. But please don't wait for me to reach out to one another. <laughs> Just do it, I promise you. You pray with one another, call one another, see how you're doing, and, it, and you can encourage each other with words of faith that gives you peace at this time. Um, it's gonna be really important too that we grow in, in these ways of communicating and praying, especially and even virtually, because we're gonna be away from the sacraments, at least in the way that we would want for a while. It sounds like it won't be until April 19th that we'll be able to have possibly have a public mass. That's the week after Easter. I know DPS schools aren't opening until, wouldn't allow us to even come back until then as well. And it could be a lot longer. In the meantime, I'm responding. Uh, we have a Deacon and I are gonna do a virtual mass tomorrow morning at 7.30. I'm gonna head over to the parking lot at Omar D. Blair Charter School where we have mass normally. And you have a chance to do a drive-through confession, drive-up confession. Um, I'll be there in my Nissan Rogue. It's black, a little dirty, but that's where I'll be. <laughs> and, um, and, and we're trying to serve the needs, uh, your needs in the meantime. Um, and I know those needs are great. Uh, so many of us are suffering, all of us are suffering financially. If you have any needs, please email or call the parish. Um, respond to this flock note with uh, a, te a, te a te flock note text or email. Let us know. Uh, we want to come serve you. And all of us are being affected, whether it's your stocks being hit, not having a job, losing your job, or I mean, permanently even, or temporarily, we're all being affected. But friends, in times of war, and I really think this is kind of a time of war, you see heroic acts of generosity. And I believe in you. And I believe that this can continue to happen for one another and for our parish. Uh, you guys, I know that Christ has triumphed over sin and death, and he's He's going to beat this. Uh, and we keep praying for that someone will come up with a, um, um, a, a, a vaccine for the virus. But our parish will come back, and we need to be ready for that. And so I also encourage you to, to donate. I know we're not doing a weekly collection anymore. So put your envelope, your money, your check, your cash in the envelope, put it and send it to the parish. Uh, you can look on our website for our P.O. box, um, or it was, um, it'll be on our weekly email. If we don't have your email, please send it in so you can get the weekly email that has our address. I'll put it also in this YouTube video. Or donate online. So many of you are donating online. Thank you so much for that. Um, it's gonna help keep us afloat because we're gonna build a church. I've been meeting with our architect. Um, we have a little delay in our meeting with the Archdiocese till next month but we're planning for our parish. And in the meantime, we, we're still, we, we found a place where we could possibly lease for the next few years while that parish is being built. Um, but we need obviously money to do that. So please be generous. Um, God can never be outdone in generosity. Thank you so much for all your prayers. I feel them and know that I am praying and sacrificing for you every day. Um, God bless it. St. John of Bretamola, pray for us.